Hi, this tutorial is not going to be about colors and anything. We've done that. We have explained all these things here, the color things down here, and the different bars. We can have three bars. Now I'm going to go all the way up. It's for some of us, it will be an issue. For others, it will just work. But if you have two monitors, you have to know the program XRender. So XRender is the one that can figure out what monitors do we have. And it's this name that's important for us. So I'm now on VirtualBox. And it says, look, you have a monitor called VGA-1. So if you have a dual monitor, and it's only actually a tutorial for those guys, then you need to tell that it's not called DVI-2 or 1 or HDMI-2 or 1. It's going to be not LVD-S1. So all these things I, have, I, I came across with my monitors. But you have to tell them what it is. That I made a little variable for it. So first monitor and last monitor. So all, the, all these guys are hashtagged out. They're not working. So these two are working. That's my main computer with two HDMIs. And I'm telling him which one is to the left and which one is to the right with this little code at the end. You can find more information probably online on in tutorials and, and find out uh, why and how, because that's maybe a good idea to show you that in the, this tutorial as well. We have i3wm.org. There is a beautiful and very long i3 user's guide. You do not have to go into all detail, but if you really want to change i3, you need to read this Bible. This is like the Arch Wiki. This is the i3 Wiki. You need to read this user's guide. Okay, but uh, it's, well, it's it's a lot to take in. So um, it's for a project for in a few months after using i3, I guess. And, um, or just look uh, very, um, for a word, like here, panel. And say, okay, what can I do with panels? And here already you have some information about XRender. So it's great. So. For instance, you have a dual screen and you type it in, dual screen, and, and hope for the best. Not anything, nothing is happening. So, dual maybe. Individual, individual is also dual. Eh? <laughs> no such luck. So, screens. Already 12. Configuring your monitors. Multiple monitors, that's the word I had to type in. And here you see some information, go through it. And um, I probably made other tutorials as well. And of course, other people on YouTube will explain it to you. Just Google it, YouTube it, and it's not that difficult, but you have to figure it out. If you have a multi-monitor, so a dual monitor or four or three, and then you have to tell them where the monitors will have to go. Enjoy your i3.